in the day, you guys were given a line graph. And when given a line graph, what we wanted to do was determine the distance between some points. Well, the first thing we did was learn how to like plot points on a line graph, right? You say here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we determined that going to the right was positive, going to the left was negative, right? Then, the next thing we did is we learned how to plot points. If I said, what about when x equals 4? You'd say, okay, well from 0 I go over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I say, x equals negative 2. And you go, oh, to the left, 2. Right? Now, what though, the next thing is, what if I wanted to find the distance between these two points. Now these are both x's, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to relabel them x1 and x2. Now obviously on a line graph it's very easy just to count the tick marks between each point, right? Yeah. Okay, but what if I ask how would it be algebraically without adding the tick marks? Does anybody know how can we find the distance between x1 and x2? Yes, we subtract the two distances. And what we're going to do is we subtract x2 minus x1. Now, it doesn't matter which one I label x2 minus or x1, but we subtract the two distances. And then I take the absolute value. And why am I taking the absolute value? Well, let's take a look if I'm standing here, right? And let's say that to my left or your right is the positive direction, and to my right or your left is the negative direction. If I move over a step, I'm going positive and I'm going negative. But am I still moving? Just go around that way. Am I still moving though? Yes? So have I traveled a distance if I go in the positive or in the negative direction? I'm still moving, right? So my distance can never be negative. The direction though can be negative. So anyways, the distance in this case is going to be your distance, which equals your d. All right? So if I wanted to find the distance in my example, all I do is I'd say x2, which is 4, minus a negative 2. So 4 minus negative 2 is going to be 6. Absolute value of 6 equals a positive 6. Yes? What's the deal with the y in front of the x2? Huh? What's the deal, what's the deal with the line in front of the x2? The line, oh, that's the absolute value. Oh, okay. Remember the absolute value from, okay. So that's how to find distance. You guys remember distance?